Hello everyone, it's April the 2nd and I'm wondering how's your stay home, stay safe project coming along? I know it's tough, tougher for some than others. Someone told me that they are enjoying the worship from home. They can uh, enjoy their worship time in their pajamas, uh, sitting in the recliner with a cup of coffee and they can get up and go to the bathroom anytime they want. Well, good, I'm glad you're enjoying that, but uh, know that I'm planning on things returning to the new normal soon. Uh, I've heard stories of people who are relearning how to cook and some people enjoying that more than others. One told me uh, that he knows now why dogs chew the furniture. Go figure. Uh, some of you are bored out of your minds and others of you are busy doing things that uh, you've just been putting off, procrastinating for a long time. I even saw someone I know uh, cleaning out her closet recently. Uh, I, I can't tell much difference yet. Um, but there are things to be done, projects to be worked on, maybe some things to learn, some um, YouTube videos to watch or, or books to read, that kind of thing. Uh, but whether you're busy or bored, uh, all of us are becoming, uh, I think all of us, most of us, many of us are becoming more frightened every day. And indeed, this COVID-19 is something to be concerned about and to take seriously. But let me share a couple of scriptures with you. Uh, first of all, Paul writing to uh, his young pastor friend, Timothy, he said in 2 Timothy 1, 7, for the spirit of God gave us not a, a, a spirit to make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. How true it is that God gives us uh, his spirit in order to help us uh, with our self-discipline. Um, self-discipline, motivating ourselves to get up and do the things that we can do, should do, need to do in order not to become discouraged and depressed amidst this um, pandemic. Uh, recently, uh, just a day or so ago, my wife and I were reading uh, our, our devotional for the morning, and it was from uh, the, the story about Gideon in Judges chapter 6. I want to read it to you because it's such a interesting, um, thought-provoking story that could be helpful to some of us today. Judges chapter 6, verse 11, the angel of the Lord came down and under the oak of Ophrah and the oak that belonged to Joash and the uh, Abazrite, where his son Gideon was threshing wheat in a wine press to keep it from the Midianites. And when the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, the angel said to him, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Pardon me, my Lord, Gideon replied. But if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are all his wonders that our ancestors told us about when they said, did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and given us into the hand of Midian. The Lord turned to him and said, go in the strength you have and save Israel out of Midian's hand. Am I not sending you? Gideon was afraid. Um, if we could ask him, he might even say, yes, admit, I'm terrified by those Midianites, the enemies. So he was down in a wine press, threshing wheat where he should have been out in the open, perhaps even on a little hill where the wind could blow away the chaff from the wheat. But he's doing it in a wine press to protect himself because he's afraid. Remember, we're on God's side. I didn't say God's on our side. We're on God's side. Yes, uh, let's stay there. Avoid too much bad news if you can, when you can. Yes, get out and take a walk when the weather's permissible. But don't get too close to those other people walking. Uh, Governor Abbott gave me some good news this week. He said, go fishing. I plan to do just that. Uh, don't let your mind be consumed with the negative. Remember, as we think, so we are. Keep yourself busy. Uh, in fact, call or write family. Um, do some research on your family and, and things like that. Uh, talk to friends over the phone, on the Internet, that kind of thing. Uh, I would even suggest that maybe we consider uh, writing to our um, uh, government leaders. They could probably use a word of encouragement these days 
And what better place for it to come than from Christians? The church staff, I must report, is doing well. Uh, most of them are working from home, doing all that, that, that we know what to do. And, and we're also making preparations for our return back to the new normal. Janie Peake asked me to report to you that our March general fund giving was under budget by 23%. But she is very hopeful, as am I, that we'll make that up as we continue to support the church. So thank you all for your uh, faithful prayers and contributions to keep our church uh, going well. I want to say thank you also to Pastor Terry uh, for a great message from Psalm 77 last week. And Pastor Morey has already prepared another great message from the Psalms this week, Palm Sunday. And in fact, he'll be bringing us communion online. Wait till you see that. Uh, my wife, Coletti, asked me to say to you, thank you for your prayers and um, the many cards that you've been sending to her for your love and support. Uh, she had another MRI on Monday of her brain, and we're happy to report there's nothing there. There is no cancer in her brain. And so we're praising God for that good news. Uh, I, I want to conclude with this scripture as well. Uh, I, I used it uh, um, before, just read it this morning. Can't help but share it with others. Uh, Isaiah 41, 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I'll strengthen you and help you, and I'll uphold you with my righteous right hand. I've been claiming that scripture a lot lately, and I am thankful that God uh, is answering that prayer and, and living out his scripture in my life and in yours. Just to remind you that uh, there are uh, a lot of ways to stay connected uh, with the church family and with others. Uh, there, are, there should be someone from the church calling you um, every two weeks or so just to check on you to make sure things are good with you. If they've not called you, uh, it may be that we have a wrong number or something, so let us know. Call the church or send us an email. Let us know. But a lot of good things happening. Uh, these recordings, I, I hope that they're helpful to you. If they are, let us know. And if they're not, um, just keep it to yourself. We'll appreciate that. Um, we're trying to be humorous as often as we can to see, to see God's hand at work where, where we can and to give God glory for that. Uh, Sunday morning Bible study. Oh, one more thing. Um, I wanted to let you know that it is our plan to provide a sunrise service at 7 o'clock on Easter Sunday morning. Yes, it'll be online, but it will be a, a, a early morning, let's call it a Easter morning meditation. Uh, we probably, well, I don't know if we'll have any music or not, but uh, I'll try to bring a great message to you, a message of encouragement and hope on that beautiful Sunday morning that we call Easter. Uh, and although we can't gather on that day, which is typically the day that we have the largest family gathering of all, uh, we'll be together. We'll be together in spirit. God, God has promised us that he's always with us. And as long as he's with us, we're together as one. Well, God bless you. If I can be helpful to you in any way, let me know. Um, as I said, Coletti's doing great. Uh, her treatments are going well. Uh, she's told to just keep doing what she's been doing. So we can't wait for her to get back and start cooking for our, our gatherings again. Thank you again for all your prayers and support through these days. And uh, you are a blessing to us. I trust that uh, God is blessing us all. And we're receiving it in Jesus' name.